In July 2015, the world was stunned when the German police took possession of a strange collection of wartime relics in the basement of a house in Heikendorf near Kiel on the Baltic coast. There was an 88mm flak gun, a torpedo and a large collection of firearms, perhaps most interestingly a panther tank, all in excellent condition. A 20-person unit from the Bundeswehr used two Bergerpanzer tank recovery vehicles to drag the trackless panther from its lair beneath the villa. How this story came about is fascinating and begins not with a tank but with art, specifically Nazi art. Josef Thorhack was an Austrian sculptor much favoured by the Nazis. When Albert Speer completed his grandiose new Reich Chancellery for Hitler in Berlin in 1939, a pair of large equestrian bronzes were cast by Thorhack and they stood prominently outside the building facing the garden. In this German newsreel clip, Hitler distributes medals to Berlin defenders in March 1945. They are lined up along the terrace, with Torax equine bronzes above them, just out of shot. The bronzes, like the building they front, were shell and bullet damaged. Snatched as loot by the victorious Red Army, the horses ended up in a Soviet barracks at Eberswalde in Germany. Then they disappeared, just before the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. German police began an investigation to try and locate what was essentially state property, and many years later, in May 2015, found the horses hidden in a warehouse in Bad Durkheim in the Rhineland. As part of this investigation, other properties were raided around Germany, including a villa on the shores of the Baltic at Heikendorf, whose millionaire owner had a back garden decorated with an important Nazi-era bronze. While searching the man's house, the police discovered his other collection in the basement and moved to seize the vehicles and weapons. The problem was, everyone locally knew about the panther tank. How the collector had managed to acquire such a rare vehicle was not a mystery. He had personally resurrected it from the scrap pile over 40 years earlier. The Heikendorf panther isn't strictly speaking a World War II panther or even a German panther. It was assembled from wartime parts in a factory under British management just after the war for British use. In May 1945, the Panther factory fell within the British occupation zone. The British management team consisted of Captain W.J. Hadlow and an NCO. The British were very keen to test both the Panther and the Yug Panther. To do this, they required brand new vehicles, not wartime wrecks, recovered off battlefields. Under the supervision of Captain Hadlow from the Corps of Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, completion work was done at the gun factory at Larzen, south of Hanover, as the roof of the Hanover factory had been destroyed by Allied bombing. Using available components, in total, nine Panthers and twelve Yug Panthers were built and shipped to the UK for post-war trials. The Panther and Yug Panther on display at the Tank Museum at Bovington were built as part of this immediate post-war batch. Another panther tank is in a museum in Germany, this is also British built, and finally there is the Heikendorf panther. The Heikendorf panther ended up in a scrapyard in Britain after being discarded by the army. In the early 1970s, the German millionaire bought the panther when the scrapyard was being cleared and had it shipped to Germany. By the late 1970s, the panther was back in running order and was apparently often seen being driven around Heikendorf. It has been suggested that the tank's engine was partially maintained by the Bundeswehr unit that looks after other World War II tanks in German museums. Also, the owner was in possession of a note from the local government issued in 2005 that stated that the Panther had been demilitarized, that is the main gun could not fire live ammunition. But in July 2015, the Panther, other vehicles and weapons were all seized by the authorities. The Panther was sent to the German Army training area at Putlos for storage, where it remains today. During the process of dragging the tank out of the villa's basement, it is alleged that soldiers damaged the front suspension of the $2.5 million vehicle. In January 2017, the owner was brought to court on violations of the War Weapons Control Act and weapons standards. For now, the ultimate fate of the Heikendorf Panther has yet to be settled. Please subscribe and share, and also support my channel via PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.